Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. Good afternoon. Good morning. However, whichever one it is. Thanks for joining me again. Thank you for all of my subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys. All right. Thanks for joining me again. If you'd like to book an appointment, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. All right. I hear the word treachery. All right. I hear jealousy, envy, hate. All right, somebody definitely want your downfall. All right, it's unfortunately that these are people we don't even know. Um, this is unfortunate that someone that we met, had a good time with, um, got us connected in a bunch of bullshit. All right, but it's about finding our strength and trying to make it through because we know we have done nothing wrong to wrong these people. Okay, nothing at all. Okay, um, I got some energy about herpes. Somebody could have called herpes during sex here. I got the energy of it's not your baby. Proven DNA. It was proven. Somebody could have had a DNA test and it was not your baby. All right. So somebody, something's going on with fraud and murder. And it was a crime committed in a situation here. All right. Something's going on with mail fraud. Somebody could have stole your mail. Somebody could be holding on to something, and the date is about to expire. Okay? Um, it's a brother involved in the situation here, and whatever this is, is family-related. Okay? And it's something going on with somebody's drinks. Somebody tampered with your drinks. All right? Somebody is bisexual, and something could have happened on Sunday in regards to something a bisexual act okay and um there is a narco police all right but this narco police could also be a hitman all right or there's a police who knows something involving a hitman okay is what I have here all right we've been getting this hitman energy a lot Okay, somebody knows something that's going on with a hitman. And then this next energy I got right here, I just eyeballed it said following you to do you harm. All right, somebody could be following you to try and do some harm. And I get that. Um, make sure that, you know, if somebody try to bump you or whatever your car, you know, I don't even know to say if you need to get out because I feel like it's some type of plot because somebody could follow you. I see a black car and I see a white car. Okay, um, I got some vampire energy here. Somebody is strictly a vampire energy. Somebody is trying to suck the fucking life out of you. Suck all of your energy away. You guys could feel totally, completely exhausted. All right, somebody is doing everything they can under the sun to obtain your energy. All right, and this is because somebody is jealous of your lifestyle, how you live. Somebody think you think that they are better than you, and you're not even like that. You could care two shits. You're just living your own damn life. But somebody's jealous because you could be classy, different, and sophisticated, all right? And somebody else over here is just a lonely vampire, okay? So you see right through the bullshit. You know exactly what's going on in a situation. Somebody could be a star. Somebody could be in the public eye. Somebody is hella jealous. Okay, real jealous. You see right through the bullshit. You could wear glasses, needing some new glasses. All right, need an eye check here. All right, but you see exactly what's going on here. All right, and somebody is trying to trigger you. Somebody wants to beef with you. And Divine is saying right off the bat, it's not even worth it. Somebody regret a situation that they put you in. It's a lot of regrets here. Somebody started a whole war and somebody know that you're not even like this. You not even like this type of energy. Somebody is heavily trying to in intimidate you. Make make you feel like um, you're not good enough. But all along on the inside, they feel like they're not good enough. Especially when it comes to you. Somebody's been trying to keep you in some private ass relationship. Somebody's been lying about what's going on. And that is what's causing beef here. All right, that you possibly didn't even know that you were involved in. And Divine saying Ace of Swords is here. That is the truth. Okay? And somebody's going to find out the truth. Okay? Some truth could be getting exposed in regards to a possible death. All right? This death could be of a man 
okay? Or this death could be of a child, all right? Your ancestors seen it if it was in regards to a child, all right? They know what was going on here with these deaths here, okay? And it's something particularly about a child. All right, and a death angel is here. Somebody could be calling in death spells on you, but they're only triggering a death spell on themselves. All right, is what divine is saying here. Look at this. Somebody's trying to make you feel suicidal. All right, it was in reverse. So this is not working for you, but it's being returned to the sender. Somebody could feel suicidal now on their own now because they tried to send this to you like you might go off and kill yourself. Okay? All right. And if you know somebody who's suicidal, please take the time to listen and see if you can help that person. All right? Because somebody's definitely trying to send this energy here. And this could affect someone who's not strong, who, who can um, transmute this energy. You know, somebody who could always, already be in some type of state of depression as well. All right. Somebody definitely dealing with a gambling addiction. All right. Somebody might take lithium or might need to. And somebody could be dealing with some type of impotence. Maybe lithium makes somebody impotent. Okay. And, um, yeah, the ancestors are seeing a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Some truths that people are trying to hide. Okay. So this vampire energy, let's see what's going on here. Because somebody trying to trigger you, somebody trying to put you in a situation to have beef with somebody here. All right. Somebody just trying to get some shit started. Like you're going to be fighting over a motherfucker or something like that. All right. Holy Spirit. What's this energy here? What's this vampire energy? What do we need to know for this beef? Seeing through the bullshit. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? All right. Yes. Answers. All right. You guys are watching a lot of tarot. Y'all getting readings and y'all getting answers as to what's going on with these energies, these people, these connections, this witchcraft. You guys are getting answers right through tarot here. All right. You guys know that somebody is very careless and reckless. Okay. And this is somebody who's irresponsible with energy. I feel like this is a young minded energy here, but this person could um, practice witchcraft. Okay, yes. And this is um innocence here. Somebody see you as innocent in a situation. Somebody know they drugged you into some bullshit. Somebody put you in competition and you didn't even know. And now you got people sending you all this drama, negativity, trying to make you a sacrifice here. All right, you definitely could be celibate because you don't trust um any of these energies to have sex with anybody right now. You focused on your spirituality, your finances, and your own personal growth here. All right. Your heart is restricted. You're you just um, unable to act right now. And you feel like somebody's trying to trap you in other situations. All right. This could be both of y'all energy here. This could be mirrored energy. All right. And this energy right here, yeah, on hold, ignoring, blocked, disconnected. This is the energy that you could have towards this person. All right, you ignoring any type of phone calls here. You could have blocked this person or disconnected or have an all new phone number. You just don't want to deal with this energy right now. This person put you through a lot right here. Yes, this person caused a tower moment in your life. And by you not reacting to this person, this is their karma. And they could be facing a tower moment right now. Yes, because you realize somebody was extremely toxic here. Somebody is all about poison, red flags, and you just see right through the bullshit here. Yeah, if somebody want that cake and eat it too. Somebody could have a baby. It could have been a baby's birthday here. All right, yes. And then you realize that this, this person just want intimacy here. All right, you care about your body more. You guys could have learned a lot. You guys could be doing yoga. You could be working out. All right, doing a lot of different things with your body, you know, um, working on your weight, eating healthier, drinking healthier, loving yourself a little bit more here. All right, and you know somebody just want to come right on in here and try to bond with you through sex. All right, you got pride, yes. All right, and you care about how things look for you now. And somebody stuck on ego and pride and just trying to show off. You know, I feel like somebody could have... You know, told somebody, no, they can get you back. Some type of mind game energy here. 
all right yeah and this is you in your own bubble all right somebody's living in a fantasy but it's very obvious that somebody don't know exactly what they want for their own life here all right and how somebody act is just not cute it's not funny anymore somebody just act reckless all right it could be a female energy that act like a dude all right it could be some transgender energy here okay so um love is in the air here love is close you might you guys could be manifesting somebody new you tired of all this reckless bullshit all right somebody who's toxic who don't give a fuck who always keep you caught up in situations all right yeah somebody who's confused thank you holy spirit who's lost who's unsure you always got to question this person what's their intentions where you guys are going this is somebody who do not know what they want in love all right and this is yeah romancing you know idealizing or putting you on a pedestal here this is real love somebody's fantasizing about real love just like you are all right this is divinely guided here instead of playing mind games for somebody who don't know what love is Okay, yes. So it's time to uproot. Some of you guys could be moving, relocating, going to an all new location. Maybe Divine is trying to send you some, some, some serendipity energy here. Some peace. Some of you guys could have prayed to move on and leave the familiar behind and find something new in life. You're not stuck. You're only stuck as far as your mind is um, keeping you stuck. Divine is giving you opportunities to move ahead with your life. All right, yep, covering up problems, ignoring the obvious, and trying to stay in situations is only a temporary fix. It's not going to fix anything long term. You just staying stuck temporarily, fixing the problem temporarily. So, divine saying, work on your self love here. All right, that's how you fix a problem is when you love yourself. And then, fixing problems, you won't second guess yourself. You'll be able to move ahead with boundaries, move ahead with strength. You know, moving ahead, standing in your power when you make decisions instead of always second guessing or feeling insecure about choices and decisions in your life. You'll be confident to move on. You'll be confident to relocate. You know, you won't be scared about stuff when you really heal and find your worth and your value and you love yourself and God pushing you ahead to the next level. Okay. You will have a good man. You are marriage material. You are worth it. This is what divine is bringing you when you put that I love myself energy back out there instead of feeling insecure and weak that you're going to fall back into somebody's trap, somebody's bullshit. Okay, Holy Spirit with these energies here. Yeah, instead of keep dealing with somebody who's under a love spell, who could have a sexual entity tied to them, somebody who's stuck under candle magic here. All right, and this is somebody who plan on calling you, texting you, leaving you messages. That's why somebody's going through all of your shit. Somebody's hacking your emails, your text messages, your phone, because they're trying to stop this person from connecting with you, or they want to be there when this person do, okay? If this person do, okay? Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yes, divine say, if this person do, okay? So what's this energy, Holy Spirit? What's this beef? What's this... Spell work. What's all the same bullshit on a new day, Holy Spirit? What do you want us to know? What do we need to know? All right. So something's in regards to a Virgo. It's a Virgo in some situation here. Okay. And this Virgo should know that they deserve better. There's a Virgo that's stuck in some fuck shit that need to move on. All right. Somebody's forgetting that they're a queen here. Okay. Yeah. This Virgo could have gotten blocked in a situation, okay? Or divine blocked this person. Maybe this Virgo done lost their damn mind in a situation is what divine is saying. And that's why you were blocked here. Somebody could have returned from the past in the situation, all right? Somebody came back. Somebody could have got out of jail. Somebody could have moved back to town, Okay, so it could have been some drama. Maybe this beef right here is between a Virgo and somebody else here. All right, somebody got beef. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is this energy here? What is bitch, I'm back. Somebody came back, huh? All right, what's this energy? Yeah, somebody was missing somebody. All right, so somebody happy, somebody returned. Somebody is like, came back to somebody and somebody happy but they could have already been in some type of relationship 
All right, yeah, but this person can't commit. So somebody return here. Somebody could <clears throat> either already be with somebody, all right, and then somebody's returning who can't commit. So it's like somebody's willing to be a side piece or a third party here. All right, I just feel like this is a big fuck circle. People dealing with multiple lovers. Everybody is. Everybody cheating type of energy here. All right. Yeah, moving forward now. All right. Somebody's realizing that you're moving forward, moving on with your life here. Okay. Yes. Somebody could be hiding the pain of how they really feel, but they have to move forward. So you guys could still be hurt a little bit, but you realizing that there's nothing left here for you and you are choosing to move forward in your life here. Yeah. If you're trying to stay positive, I told you somebody was doing some yoga. Or somebody's working out here. Somebody's doing that energy here. Okay. I knew somebody was working out. And it helps you feel better. It helps your body feel better here. Yeah. So something is meant to happen. All right. Something is meant to be. All right. And this energy right here is yeah. But somebody's doing some shady shit behind something that is meant to be. And that's what Divine is saying here. It could be a Pisces involved in some shady shit on something that's meant to happen here. All right. Somebody could be high maintenance. Somebody want to be praised, want to be recognized. Somebody is fishing for comments. People pleasing energy here. All right. This could be a Scorpio involved in the situation here. All right, what about this Scorpio? Somebody might need to lie about a situation. Maybe it's a Scorpio that's lying about something here. That's going to leave somebody in tears. All right, yeah, something is pure love. It could have something to possibly do about a baby. Okay, somebody might find out about a baby. All right, but maybe the love of a baby. Something was pure with a Scorpio. All right, and you're joking, right? So I guess it wasn't. Okay, because somebody thinks something, somebody is saying something about a joke. But I feel like it has to do with um, pure love. It has to do with a baby. All right, I even get twins energy. All right, what's this energy here? Somebody could have found out somebody was pregnant. All right, yeah, you're too smart for all this bullshit. You know exactly what's going on because you guys watch a lot of tarot videos. And Divine saying, you see plain black and white exactly what's going on here. All right. You guys could be going back to school. You could have some type of um, high maintenance position. Something that's um, keeping your mind elevated. All right. To where you always have to study. All right. Somebody could become a uh, spiritist that talks on the platform. But it could be a higher platform like Joyce Myers, T.G. Jakes, Sarah Jakes. You know, it could be a higher level platform. Okay. Yes. And at my best without you, somebody's realizing that you're at your best without this person in your life. You're doing so many different things. You're growing up the ladder. You know, you are starting to see the successes in your life versus the challenges in your life dealing with this person. Okay. And this is because you're tired of somebody's shit. All right. You start being more happy when you exclude the bullshit out of your life. You start seeing that you're at peace. You're at calm. All right? Instead of being ready to slap a bitch. Because of some fuck shit somebody got you involved in. Okay? Holy Spirit, what's these other energies here? Yeah. And be caught up with all this spell work and all this bullshit somebody keep doing to y'all. That's why a lot of you guys just rather be fucking single. Yeah. There's two best friends out here doing spell work on y'all. Doing heavy spell work on y'all. And you're just tired of this shit. You already know about it. Divine said you're immune to it. All right. Yeah, they keep meeting up to do all these rituals on you guys. Having these secret hookups out here at, outside here at the graveyard. at Outside under the new moons and stuff. Finding places to do all this spell work at. You know, they're already acting suspicious. People are already suspicious of this energy, what they've been doing here. A lot of friends and people and family members dealing with these people are facing consequences, having downfalls, bad luck, because it's all being returned to the sender here. And somebody just not happy in this situation. 
Somebody's always suspicious of what somebody doing, where they at, why they don't want to fuck. Somebody just suspicious about everything here. Yeah. And somebody feel like it's hard to get out of this situation, but it's not. You're only insecure, and that's why you think you're stuck in this situation. It's not hard to leave. All right? Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yeah. And somebody feel like they'll just take care of themselves. All right? Somebody don't care. Somebody's taking care of themselves. Somebody have a rifle, a couple of guns. Somebody smoke some blunts or cigarettes here. And it's not hard to get out because the vines say you can't protect yourself. All right? Instead of always playing a victim. Somebody could be handicapped or in a wheelchair, but somebody could be playing a victim, acting like it's hard to get out, and that's why they stay stuck in the situation, all right? Divine said it could be a Virgo, all right? It's definitely Virgo energy involved in this reading, all right? So what's this beef about, Holy Spirit? What's this beef? Somebody trying to drag you into some bullshit. Somebody trying to drag you into some beef, some shit, so they can do harm to you. That's what Divine is saying. Somebody trying to drag you into some bullshit to harm you. Okay? And this is because somebody tired of somebody talking about you, venting about you. You know? Somebody venting. Somebody could be saying a bunch of negative things about you like you started a bunch of shit. Like you did a lot of stuff to this person. Somebody is lying on you heavily. Okay? But this person could have said a lot of negative things about you, which makes this person, oh, I'm defend my man now that, you know, this person is has someone new here. Yeah. This person is happy or they trying to be happy with someone else here. Yeah. Yeah. This person feel like, you know, they gonna, she gonna take care of this person and they said all this stuff negative about you like you was the villain here. All right. What's this energy? Yeah, and they trying to keep this new relationship private. They don't want nobody to know about a new relationship here. And you still stunting on them. You don't care. You just living your life. Somebody see you as fabulous, but somebody over here trying to put you down and act like you ain't shit. Okay? This is like you see yourself as fabulous. God see you as fabulous. And divine say you can stunt on these motherfuckers, but you ain't like that. You just low key. Okay? Yeah, somebody over here keep having mood swings. They really don't know who they met here, okay? Somebody rushed into some situation, some new situation already, and they don't even know who they met. They don't know this person, and that's what Divine is saying, all right? Yeah, forgotten memories. Somebody keep thinking about you. Somebody stuck in nostalgia energy over you, all right? They even got looking at old pictures over you. Yeah, they telling people, inventing of why you guys broke up. Okay, so somebody like somebody's contemplating, somebody's stuck here, and that's why somebody know they're gonna cause some beef in a situation, and they put you in a situation about this drama and this beef, and somebody want to fight with you and shit like we in high school here. Yeah, somebody's deciding that if I break up with this person, they're going to be mad at this person. If I break up with this person, it's going to be some beef and all this kind of stuff that somebody's saying right here. All right? Somebody want to try something new. Somebody could be trying to have a threesome here. Somebody want you to try something new. Maybe somebody broke up because somebody didn't want to try something new here. All right? Yeah. The chick next door. Somebody could be dealing with the girl on a block. All right, maybe somebody tried to bring this person to the bedroom. All right, maybe somebody found out about this affair with somebody on a block. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's this energy? And that could have started some beef here. All right, yeah, because somebody else here want a second round. Somebody want to go back in and um, try to get this person back. And also, if it was some fighting here or if it's some beef here, it's like somebody still want to go back in again and start some more beef, continuous arguing here where something else might escalate again. It could be some ugly messages here, threats of violence going on here with this beef. Yeah, somebody's definitely using the children as manipulation. So it could be baby mama compared to maybe somebody new. This baby mama could be telling a lot of, of their secrets, of their shit that's going on in their life, trying to make them look bad here. All right? Yeah. And they're going to threaten. They threaten all of this if you ever leave them. They threaten to tell all your business. They threaten to tell all your secrets. 
about all your sex and your kids and everything. Somebody's baby mom is threatened to expose all that to everybody or whoever you run off to. Okay. What's going on here? Yes, yeah, to cause beef and animosity here. Yeah, this hot new person that you met. Your baby mom is behind the scenes, going to tell all your damn business. All right? If you think you're going to run off and leave her stranded with the kids and a bunch of drama. Okay? Yes. You ain't got no money. They're going to tell all your financial problems that you broke. All right? Somebody's having financial beefs and woes here. Somebody can't pay their bills here. Okay, yeah, somebody see it all, all right? Somebody's definitely watching tarot to see it all here. Somebody could be doing evil eye spells against somebody here. But somebody see all the bullshit. Somebody know exactly what's going on because somebody watching a whole hell of a lot of tarot, okay? And this is, yep, somebody needs to be cleaning up their house. Somebody's house could be nasty, but I feel like somebody's getting evicted from a home and they just going to dog the house out. All right, somebody could have flooded this house, tore this house up, even started a fire in this house, or left this house nasty to breed roaches and rats. I just get a real nasty energy in the home. All right, so nothing feels better. Look at this. That was my confirmation, okay? That was my confirmation, okay? So the next energy I got right here is nothing feels better than this. All right, this is that bisexual energy here. Nothing feels better than this. Somebody could be, you know, just embracing their sexuality here, okay? And this is just leave. Somebody not happy in a situation, and maybe they want to be with the same sex here. And somebody just leave and going to embrace their newfound sexuality, okay? And this is, yeah, something is lit the fuck up. Somebody could be drunk as hell, but somebody definitely is playing with fire in the situation. Somebody is playing with fire here, Okay? And this is, yep, somebody's in a situation that they miserable as fuck. Okay? Somebody's miserable. They're not happy here. Somebody feel like they'll just stay here because they can't have been in a connection for a long time. All right? But they suffering. Somebody's suffering in silence type of energy here. And somebody could be trying to commit a robbery or did, and somebody figured it out. Somebody got this all figured out. It could be some type of FBI here. It could be the law enforcement involved in the situation. All right. Somebody could have been on viral camera. Somebody could have got caught on camera robbing someplace. And that's what's here. Yeah. Somebody um, did not get all of the footage. Somebody still got caught here. All right, somebody could be going to jail for this energy because they did not get all the footage and something was still caught on camera. All right, yeah. And somebody's trying to break up with somebody because they are fucking bored. All right, and with this breakup, it is going to cause a bunch of beef. And that's what Divine is saying here. This breakup is going to cause beef. Somebody might end up trying to do harm to you. All right. And also whoever this beef person is, they could be married to this person. This could be their wife here. Somebody could be definitely struggling from depression. Somebody could be hurt here. All right. I feel like some, maybe if somebody leaves somebody, somebody noticed somebody could be at a suit. Yes, they are at depression. And somebody could be at this suicidal thoughts energy here. All right. When I see this energy right here, you know, this um, depression here, somebody could be at a suicidal place in their life. And somebody do need help. Okay. So just, um, you know, always be there for somebody. Okay. Because somebody need help in a situation here. All right, I always try to be there for somebody, but this beef right here is because somebody is have abandonment issues, childhood issues. This beef also coming from somebody seeing some bullshit on somebody's phone. All right, what is this beef coming from, Holy Spirit? Yeah, about somebody finding a new love again. Somebody re wasn't ready for somebody to walk away here, and somebody's still trying to hold on to somebody. So that's why it's all this beef here and somebody getting somebody caught up into shit. All right. Somebody like challenges. They keep playing mind games. If you so available, you easy. That's a turn off. So somebody rather go towards the challenge. Somebody definitely out here playing mind games and somebody's lying to him about you. 
somebody making up a whole bunch of lies, spreading rumors and gossip about you, all right? And also somebody can be pregnant, dealing with morning sickness in the situation, all right? So whoever this is, it, this could be either you and somebody else, a karmic, all right? Or this could be two karmic people fighting here. Look at this. Look at the bottom card here, putting a bitch in her place. So the bottom energy is, it's two people that's fighting. If you're not fighting with a bitch and trying to argue with a bitch and put a bitch in her place, then this is not you. This don't resonate with you. But this is what's happening here. And I feel like these are two karmic energies that's getting caught up in this beef. And don't let somebody drag you into this. Yes, they all fighting over a toxic relationship. Somebody met exactly what they put out there. Somebody met somebody just as toxic as they are who like to fight and keep up bullshit here. Somebody's hunted now. Somebody's getting candle magic done on them. They just stuck in something so toxic here. And this is somebody who love attention, but they sure as hell not giving their kids attention here. Okay? They're not giving their kids no damn attention. And this is somebody who's sleeping on the couch now because they keep starting a bunch of fuck shit. Keep getting into petty ass arguments and stuff. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because they keep starting a bunch of beef. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys for this reading. If you like your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queendewines50 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.